The Chinese sturgeon is called the aquatic giant panda. The fish has a prehistoric look, with a shark-like form, large fins, and rows of pronounced ridges. They have lived in the Yangtze River from the dinosaur era, but now they are close to extinction. In the latest move to replenish the fish's dwindling numbers, China released 3,000 of them bred in captivity into the Yangtze on Sunday. And this is already the 57th such effort, and the largest ever since the repopulation program started in 1984. Releasing the fish into their native river helps build a balanced environment, and I can't agree with it more. Chinese sturgeons are seasoned travelers. Each year, they swim from the East China Sea to their spawning ground in the Yangtze. An adult fish can reach up to five meters in length and weigh over 450 kilograms. But the aquatic giant is fighting the odds to survive. Dams built on the Yangtze threaten to block their annual journey. Heavy shipping traffic, overfishing, and water pollution are adding to their miseries. There is no problem with releasing artificially bred fish into the Yangtze, but the repopulation program demands a good ecosystem to succeed. We worry about water pollution, overfishing, and sand mining of the Yangtze. The juvenile fish we have released are constantly under these threats, and we cannot ensure their survival. We hope all government agencies concerned can work together and put an end to overfishing, pollution, and illegal sand mining, so that the Yangtze ecosystem can be improved. Apart from releasing the fish into the wild, China has also created a conservation area in the Yangtze and curtailed fishing to safeguard the sturgeons.